All right, guys, uh, we are starting the next episode, and fortunately, it looks like we're going to get back to our body in time. Um, let's grab all our stuff as quickly as possible, and that's beautiful. Okay, good. So we got all that back. Uh, Petra's good. Let's jump on Petra. And, um, what? Uh, oh, am I too heavy? It must be too heavy. Okay, so let's... Put this stuff here. I'll keep half of those. Is that good enough? Yeah, I think we're still a, a touch heavy. But let's uh, yeah, let's get the hell out of the snow biome. Now I I did manage to I had enough fur to make a fur hat and a fur. Um, chest piece, which, which is definitely helping us, but as we continue to, or as we start moving now to the east, I think we're going to get into desert, so we're going to, I'm just going to have to be more careful about paying attention to what's happening. Uh, we need to stop and get some water in our jar, too. I, I didn't want to spend a lot of time trying to re-equip myself because, you know, there is a timer on on your bag when you die, and I wanted to make sure I could get back here in time to get that. So let's go over here and uh, get some water, and then we'll decide what our next move is going to be. Oh, looks like that's a beaver dam. That's good. Nothing super nasty right nearby. Grayless with us? Alright, we're good. Alright guys, I'm back. I had to uh, leave uh, for a while in real life, and so I just kind of parked here. Started a fire, and uh, you know, to stay warm, because it is cold in this valley. And uh, I looked around a little bit, too, uh, before before I had to go, and uh, don't uh, I mean this is a, this is a, a pretty place. It's the same you know kind of biome that we saw earlier. It's got some beaver dams um, and a couple of nice spots for uh, building a base, but it's just not. Um, go ahead and just turn that out. Oh, I was gonna make um in case we get into trouble again. I was gonna make another campfire. Let's take, I don't want to take too much of this because of how heavy it is. Uh, yeah, let's just make another campfire uh, so that way we can set it down quickly if we need to. Let's take 20 pieces of wood. There we go. Okay. Um... So yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and take off here. Uh, it it got dark, of course, and it's starting to get light again. So we should be able to see reasonably well. But it, it's a beautiful little valley here. I did fly around, like I said, and there's a couple places that would make a, a decent base area. Uh, there's beaver dams around, so that that's good supply of some mini paste and some other stuff like that. But I'm just um I I'm not really it, as beautiful as the place is. It, it's not really what I'm kind of hankering for, I guess, for <laughs> lack of a better way to uh, describe it. Um, so s still, so far, um, the place that we saw back down in um, right around 60, between 60 and 70, that little valley there right in that area is is still my favorite place so far that we're, uh, from what we've seen. Okay, so uh, what I want to do is I want to actually hop over the mountain here real quick and just take a quick look at the coast before we start working our way to the east. I also made myself a set of cloth armor um, so that way when we do get into the desert we can switch into that and hopefully you know be able to withstand the temperature. So we'll get up over the mountain here. Where's our... Here comes our arch. Our arch is quite a bit slower than the Pteranodon is. Got all the arc 
arctic creatures here. I, I don't think I'm going to go grab that blue drop. Oh, there, there isn't a coast. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is basically drops right off into the sea from here. Um, all right, well, that's good to know then. Uh, so let's go ahead then and start uh, working our way to the east. We are snowflake cold, but not ice cube cold. So we're doing okay in that regard. Here's another structure. Ooh, I wonder if this is a cave, actually. Yep, sure appears to be. Very cool. Has a has a definitely has a Skyrim feel to it. Let's see, you're on passive. Where's the wouldn't mind taking a quick look inside of there? Um, we should probably wait at least till the R RG gets to us, though. Okay, looks like we already got a little too far ahead of it. All right, Arge, where'd you go? There, there she is. Okay. If you get too far ahead of your your critter then it goes into like a stasis and just stops until you get back within range again. Okay, so Grayla can keep an eye on Petra. We're not going to go uh, spend too much time here. I just want to kind of poke my head in and take a quick look basically. This is neat looking, man. Very cool. Got a big brazier there. And the, oh. Wow. Okay. That means we need to get some grappling hooks before we come back in here and try and do anything. I'm intrigued. I wonder what that's all about. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll find out. Oh in the future. And uh, okay, that was just the transition back out of the the cave. For a minute there I thought the server was crashing. Okay, cool. So, um let's continue on t to the west. Turn the torch off now. I think we're good to go as far as that is concerned. So we still have, I know it's still a bit dark, but it'll it'll lighten up as we go. So we still have the same kind of autumn looking biome here as we've seen so far. There's a Rex down there. Level 15. A lake of some sort over this direction. It's rather picturesque. That little um, shelf, you know, right directly in front of us across the lake could potentially be a good place to build a base. What is this purple business? Is this crystal? around make sure there's nothing nasty coming yeah that's crystal okay cool I don't want to grab a bunch of that right now just because of weight let's repair that torch and then I'm gonna drop all but one stone we don't need the metal Don't need the thatch. Okay, hold on a sec. I want the wood, one stone, uh, one flint, so we can repair the torch. 
And I guess yeah, I guess we can hang on to that crystal for now. Wonder how deep this lake gets. Looks like it potentially goes down quite a ways. Looks like an iguanodon. Oh yeah, it goes down there. Dang, man. That river goes way the hell down there. There's some oil, too. Hmm. All right. Well, that's very curious. That oil is actually pretty easy to get to. It's not very, uh, not very deep. Okay. So pretty cool. And like I was saying, this this could be a cool place to have a base right in this area. It's not super flat, though, so that could be a thing. One thing that I've always not liked about Ark is that it's there's no way to prevent um, the, the foliage from, you know, sticking up through your foundation, so... That's why it's usually, if, if you want to do a really nice build and have a clean floor inside your base, you have to make sure that you start from the highest point so nothing clips through. Alright, so there's a bit of a gorge or something going down through there. That's kind of neat looking. But I think, like I said, we'll, we'll kind of keep just to the... To the perimeter of the map and spiral in as we continue to explore. All right, so we're getting out of the autumn type of biome. Here's another cave. Man, there's caves all over the place. Some scorpions and some of those spiny dudes. Can't remember what they're called. This would be a nice little flat plateau to have a base on. There's some aloes down there. Let's get a glass on the leader and just see what the level is. Uh, 55 it looks like. Okay. I haven't seen very many really high level, you know, uh, carnivores. We did have that, that 135 Carnotaur. That was giving us all kinds of grief. Oh, is that a wyvern? Uh, wait a minute. What is that? Hold on. I can't see. Get out of the way. Mm, stupid. There. Oh, that's a that's a quetzal, right? I think. I didn't think Quetzal's ever landed, though. No, that isn't a Quetzal. That's a new critter. I don't recognize that. I don't think that was in the game last time I played. It's, uh... uh I can't... Get a, enough of a glass on it to tell. It's a Tropogonathus or something like that. Oh, he looks mean. <laughs> wow, interesting. Okay. He's about... He's just a little bit larger than an Argentavis. Very interesting. All right, so we got ourselves like another little beaver pond here. 
Though I don't see... There's a Baryonyx. What level is the Baryonyx? He's a level 20. Okay. So this is a this is kind of a neat area here because it's it's open, uh, but it still has you know some trees and stuff around. And I really like the the little gorge going through it here. It's very cool. Um, I want to make a quick adjustment here. I want you uh, behavior. No, not behavior. Options. Where is the option for changing their follow distance? That's what I'm looking for here. No, nope, not that. Options right behavior. Is it a behavior? Yeah. Change follow distance from medium. Let's put you on high so you're not like right up in our business. Still right up in our business. What the hell? I don't understand. Okay, whatever. So yeah, this little gorge is really cool. And this area in general is pretty neat. There's a couple bridges going across that way. And then it looks like we, we get to... Uh, a redwood forest as we go further that direction. There's a horse down there. So this little plateau here would make a pretty decent base area. And I am assuming that it only has a A couple of... Oh, there's some sheep down there. Look at that. Nice. Okay, good to know. Good to know that this is where the sheep are. What the hell is that? An and Andrew Sarkis? That is also new to the game since I last played. They look like enormous pigs. Are they mean? Oh yeah, he's mean. <laughs> okay. He looks mean. That tree up in the sky is awesome. It's probably, what do they call it, Yildersil or something like that? The Tree of Life? Or... Oh, hey, here's a thing down here. Let's go check this out. Also, is this uh, a water or an oil? I think this is a water well thing you can put. Yeah, okay. It's good that, that those things are around because you can use that for as, as a water source for your base. There's a terminal over that way. Okay, yeah, let's go um, let's go see what the structure is. It's really interesting looking. Oh, that's a big stairway. Okay. Um, before we go look at that, this is just another one of those stony hinge places with a bunch of rare flowers. Uh, I wonder if we can get back to that pink drop in time before it disappears. Here's another mountain lake with a waterfall. Kind of 
a neat area here. What's it look like up on top here? Sort of kind of flat. Definitely could build a base up here, but it's not super flat. Alright, yeah, let's see if we can get over to this pink drop before it disappears. Worthless. Where's uh, the arch? Oh, uh, we, we probably actually left the arch behind, so... neat looking down there there's a here's another big structure right here wow this is cool okay let's get some stamina back and wait for our arch to catch up with us This is so cool. It's like a big dam. Oh man, I love it. There's like a couple of dwarves on each side. That's just so cool. Amazingly cool. We got a little shack or something down here. Oh, it's almost like a village. Anything really nasty around. I'm going to take a look inside here. Neat. It'd make for a, a cool base if the damn grass wasn't sticking up through the floor. Pretty cool, though. Kiting from these guys. Okay. Let us proceed. I love this dam. That is so neat. I just want to fly down to this little area on the coast and scope it out real quick. Oh my goodness. Isn't that the the thing that um, attacks rafts? Lead Sithkus, I think it's called. Yep. Yep, he's the guy that'll attack your raft. Oh, he's an alpha, too. I wonder how easy it would be to kill that thing. If it stayed put... Yeah, see that far follow distance apparently only applies to me and not the... Give you a point in melee. Just want to see what happens if, if it'll stay put. Because it's stuck. These things are surprisingly weak for for being an alpha. Hey, cool. <laughs> that, was, that was a super easy kill. Uh, we got some prime fish off of it, too. 
uh, and a captain's hat. 61 pieces of prime fish. I don't know if that'll last. Oh my gosh, 21 rune stones. Why was it? I think we need these to activate uh, or as one of the things to contribute to the boss fight. Uh, we got seven points on Grela. That is amazing. Okay, I want to get her melee damage up. Okay, so she's up to a thousand. That's really good melee damage. Um, and then I'll probably get her health up to ten thousand. And then after that, maybe work a little bit more on her stamina and or movement speed. That was good though, man. Did we get any points? Uh, no, we didn't. Cool. All right. Very nice. Okay, let's continue on here. Oh, wow, look at this. So many neat things to look at. Lots of metal down there. Another river valley, similar to the other area that we, that I like. Level 25 spino there. Oh, this is really cool. I'm sure we're not going to be able to go in there with the flyer. So, I'm not even going to try. Yeah, we just transitioned into the cave and now we just transitioned back out. Uh, those are those. Hesperornis ducks, duck thingies, I think. Lay golden eggs. Yeah, this is really neat down here. Very picturesque again. Wow. And then it's got this big stairwell system to get up out of the valley if you need to do so on foot. Oh, I didn't even, wasn't even paying attention. It's got that big kind of oak tree in the middle of the courtyard there, too. Super cool. Uh, the one thing I don't like about this place, though, compared to the other place that I'm thinking about is, you know, we're right across the water from the swamp uh, and all the resources that it has. So that's... Still a huge plus, I think, for wanting to build in that location. Uh, but this is this is just neat to come and look at it, you know. It's eye candy, basically. I do I do like this these upper plains though too. Um, a lot of good incentives to have a base in those areas. Okay, let's look at a map. How far to the east are we now? Okay, we're getting close. Um, somewhere over in the northeast here is Joe's base. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know he's over here somewhere. I didn't know that he was in the Redwoods, though. You have to be really careful in the Redwoods because of the Thylacaleo dino can jump off the tree and take us out. Looks very cool. Alright. I want to go see what terminal this is. So far, we found the dragon ones and the one for Fenrir. Uh, this is Brood. Oh, wait a second. What? Broodmother. No, this is Fenrir too. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm not reading it quite correct correctly or something. Here, let me look at that again. 
So this is definitely Fenrir, but in order to do this, we have to beat the Gamma Broodmother Dragon Megapithecus. Okay. I see. Interesting. All right. There's a Thylakaleo right there. Two of them, in fact. I wonder what level they are. Not that it matters. We're not in a position to be able to tame anything at the moment. Oh, they barreled off the side. I don't even know where they went. All right, let me look at the map again. So, obviously... What that question mark is this is the redwood area and I'm not really interested in living in the redwoods all right so Petra is on neutral so if we do get pulled off of our mount she will come to our rescue Oh, this is snowy redwoods. That's cool. Big old Bronto down there. Isn't there some kind of like infrared vision thing you can make that, that you can use to spot the thylos? I, I think there is. I just don't remember exactly what that thing is, but it'll it'll all come back to me. So then I'll just go, oh, what is this pink area? Stop here for a second and get some stamina. This is interesting. Just a real small little area with some pink, pink leaved trees. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like Japanese uh, cherry trees or whatever they're called. Huh. All right, really cool. Oh, there's one of those micro raptors. Get out of here, bug. Chasing that. The deer. The deer critter. Okay, we'll take a stamina break here. Um, and you know what I think, too, guys, we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. And I'll just pick up right where we left off in the next episode. Um, so we have... Just to kind of recap, uh, we are all the way now in the northeast corner of the map. And in the next episode, we will work our way south to the southeast corner and then intersect back uh, where we started. And then after that, you know, of course, we'll have the more central part of the map to discover. But I might, um, unless, I, unless I find something that's just really better, you know, than the first place that we were looking at. I think we're going to probably set up our base in that location. Um, just so we can really 
start making progress in the game. Uh, and there's nothing to say that we can't have more than one base either eventually. So there's that too. But uh, let's at least finish, you know, scouting the perimeter of the of the map. And then uh, we'll just kind of see where we're at at that point. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.